There are almost two million acres in the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge located on the Kenai Peninsula of Alaska. There's a wide variety of terrain on the refuge, including muskeg and other wetlands, alpine areas, and taiga forest. The refuge protects several large mammals, including brown bears, black bears, doll sheep, moose, caribou, and thousands of migratory and native birds. There are numerous lakes and several rivers. The refuge is a popular destination for fishing for salmon and trout. The refuge has several campgrounds and boat launches, including two developed campgrounds, one at Hidden Lake and the other at Ski Lock Lake. In geologic terms, Alaska's Kenai Peninsula is still quite young since its entire landmass was covered by glacial ice just a few thousand years ago. Much of that frozen blanket still exists today in the form of the more than 800 square mile Harding Ice Field, which the refuge shares with Kenai Fjords National Park. The grudging withdrawal of the Harding Ice Field has helped to make the lands of the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge a miniature Alaska. Today, the refuge includes examples of every major Alaska habitat type. The refuge is an Alaska in miniature in its diversity of wildlife as well. Sportfish bring hundreds of thousands of visitors to the peninsula each year. Eager anglers can pursue Chinook, Sockeye, Coho, and Pink Salmon as well as Dolly Varden Char, Rainbow Trout, and Arctic Grayling. Refuge is also home to brown and black bears, caribou, doll sheep, mountain goats, wolves, lynx, wolverines, eagles, thousands of shorebirds and waterfowl, not to mention the mighty Alaska Yukon moose that the refuge was originally established to protect. Today, the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge's wealth of habitat, scenery, and wildlife draws half a million visitors a year, more than any other refuge in Alaska. The eastern portion of the refuge descends from the 6,500 foot Harding Ice Field to 2,000 to 4,000 feet peaks in the western Kenai Mountains. Ice fields and glaciers are vital sources of fresh water for wildlife and people. Mountain goats, brown bears, and ravens have been sighted crossing glaciers and on nunataks, exposed mountains projecting above the glacial ice. Ice worms are little known inhabitant of temperate glacial ice, ranging in length from one to three centimeters, moving between crystals of ice and through the many interconnected channels in granular snow, ice worms generally stay near the surface of glaciers. Most species of ice worms rise to the surface at dusk, while others live in puddles of glacial meltwater. Ice worms eat airborne pollen grains, fern spores, and the red algae that lives in the snow and sometimes colors it pink. The tree line ends at 1,500 to 2,000 feet, with low-growing tundra plants and shrubs continuing in elevation to snow and rock fields at 4,000 feet. Doll sheep, mountain goats, and caribou roam this rugged country. Hoary marmots form colonies on talus slopes. Brown bears graze for berries and occasionally take marmots and sheep. Wolves and golden eagles have been known to be successful hunters of young sheep. Wolverines scavenge the carcasses of dead sheep and goats. From sea level to 2,000 feet, the northern boreal forest is found on the refuge. This forest is composed predominantly of white and black spruce, birch, aspen, and cottonwood trees in various stages of succession. This forest is an important source of food and shelter for moose, black and brown bears, lynx, wolves, coyotes, porcupine, weasels, red squirrels, and snowshoe hares. This habitat is an important nesting area for summer migrants including orange-crowned and myrtle warblers, 
olive-sided flycatchers, fox sparrows, ruby-crowned kinglets, and swansons and hermit thrushes. Local resident birds include great horned owls, hairy and downy woodpeckers, spruce grouse, red-breasted nuthatches, and boreal and black-capped chickadees. The northeastern portion of the refuge is dotted with hundreds of small lakes surrounded by wetland tundra or spruce hardwood forest hills. This large wetland habitat supports migratory breeding birds including common and specific loons, grebes, trumpeter swans, sandhill cranes, ducks, and shorebirds. Mammals found within this habitat include caribou, moose, beaver, muskrat, and mink. The lakes support a variety of fish species such as rainbow trout, arctic char, red and silver salmon, and sticklebacks. Within this habitat, the Chickaloon River Flax maintained the last pristine major saltwater estuary on the Kenai Peninsula. The flats serve as a staging area for thousands of shorebirds and waterfowl. The refuge is drained by nine river systems including the world-famous Kenai River, renowned for its wide variety of sport fish, including Chinook, Sockeye, and Coho Salmon. Dolly Varden and Rainbow Trout also run there. Bald eagles are often sighted perched in tall cottonwoods along the riverbanks. Brown and black bears are attracted to the rich fish resources in summer and fall. Moose, beaver, and mergansers are commonly seen wildlife along the refuge river systems. In addition to school groups, broad spectrums of youth groups take advantage of the refuge visitor center and trail facilities. Youth groups including homeschool students, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, 4-H and Campfire Kids have participated in wildlife conservation, and career programs led by refuge staff and volunteers. The Kenai National Wildlife Refuge maintains the Outdoor Education Center, an overnight group activity area near the Swan Lake and Swanson River Canoe Trail Systems. For educational groups planning a nature experience, the site is free of charge but requires a reservation and assistance with maintenance. Each year, fishing attracts the majority of the refuge 500,000 visitors. Angling opportunities vary from shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder red salmon fishing along the Russian River to wilderness rainbow trout fishing on the Swan Lake canoe system. These angling adventures and many more are waiting for you on the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge. Hunting is available year-round on the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge. Hunting season for highly sought-after moose, doll, sheep, and caribou begins in mid-August. While the majority of refuge lands are open to hunting, there are restricted enclosed areas. These include the Ski Lock Wildlife Recreation Area, the Sterling Highway Corridor, and the Headquarters Visitor Complex and adjacent trails. Visitors enjoy wildlife and natural history programs year-round. Summer programs include campfire talks, nature walks, and discovery hikes. Wildlife videos are regularly scheduled at the Refuge Visitor Center throughout the year. More than 200 wildlife species are found on the refuge. Roads, trails, and waterways provide opportunities for wildlife observation. The most frequently observed large animals include moose and bald eagles. Often visitors sight doll sheep, black bears, and salmon. More elusive wildlife include wolves, lynx, and brown bear. Birders find opportunities to add to their life list when searching for such resident birds as spruce grouse and willow tarpenta, or such migratory visitors as trumpeter swans, common loons, and arctic terns. With the diversity of landscapes, from alpine tundra to lowland lake country, wildlife and scenery tempt photographers virtually everywhere on the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge. Cold, clear winter days offer their own chilling beauty in the form of delicate hoarfrost formations and lingering rose magenta sunsets.